Well, the Council on Developmental Disabilities here in Louisville is now offering a number of free classes and educational series this month for families with loved ones who have disabilities. I'm joined by CEO Bob Napolilli and Donna Whitcliffe, board chair today. It's great to have you both on. Thanks for Thank having you. us. And to learn a little bit more about the great work that you're doing. You know, I learned a little about something just going on their website, learning about the background, Barry Bingham Senior. Senior. This all started with an open letter uh, he put out there, right? Yeah, yeah. exactly. Uh, seven years ago, um, the council was founded when uh, social justice was just coming to the forefront. So things have changed in seven years, but there's still a lot of work to be done. And that's why it's so important to educate uh, the public and advocate for these individuals. And that's mm -hmm. the, the type of work that we do. So for example, um, education, which will be part of the educational series that we're, we're putting on, will entail um, guardianship, for example. And guardianship has changed and that there are more options for guardianship of, of an individual these days. No one wants to take away somebody's rights. Um, so there's options for doing that. So a person can maintain some of their rights as an individual. But um, the council serves both children and adults from birth through the lifespan in, in any number of ways. <clears throat> and uh, so, uh, you know, that'll be part of the education series that we're putting on. Yeah. Uh, advocacy is so important uh, because even though it's changed in 70 years, there's still a lot of work to be done. Um, and so, Guardianship is one area, but uh, another area is like uh, we're working on a program regarding competency evaluations where our individuals are in jail for months at a time waiting for a competency evaluation. Mm. So there's a committee in, in uh, Frankfurt that's working on this, and that's a huge issue for us as well. Um, so, you know, the issues that we're faced with is uh, in terms of what we do, our education advocacy. Um, programming and, and things of that nature. So that's why it's so important. And this, this education series will focus on those needs. Um, and uh, they also tie into our equity program mm -hmm. that we're working on as well. So our individuals are oftentimes marginalized, uh, discriminated against in the workplace, and even institutionalized. Uh, there's still hundreds of people still residing in institutions across the country and uh, there's some work to be done there. They'd rather be living out in the community like Absolutely. the rest of us. And Donna, you're the board chair. How long have you been involved and why did this speak to you oh, to gosh. become involved in this? Um, I have been on the board for over 10 years. <laughs> I have a 17 year old who has cerebral palsy um, and he is the catalyst for everything yeah. that I do from my career to the service that I give to the council as well. Mm -hmm. And. Why do you think that there's a need for the, the types of services they offer? Where did you personally with your son kind of feel the gaps of, wait a minute, nobody's helping me with this, oh. and, <laughs> right? And yeah. then you kind of stumble into things and you're realizing we have to create something or, or this needs to be done to kind of address this need where this isn't being fulfilled. Oh, absolutely. So I will tell you, we were very fortunate to have individuals that gave us information about services available but there are so many families who do not get this information. So one of the things that we're doing with our equity program is we're taking our services to the West End. Mm -hmm. That has been a significantly underserved um, area when it comes to understanding services available to support them and their families. And that's so. where some of these workshops, the ones that are coming up uh, here in January, they're all gonna be held at Shawnee, right? Yes, yeah, yes. It's gonna be wonderful. And we're excited about that. What can people expect um, at those? What can they, do they need to bring anything or sign up ahead of time or uh, what information do they need to know? They don't need to, they can just show up. We Perfect. do have registration. They can call the council office and register if they like, but they can just show up um, and so uh, it's, it's no charge, there's no charge for these services, but they're, they're really important as far as what the community and the families can expect um, when they, they're transitioning from school um, because uh, too often there, when there's no more free appropriate public education um, going on in the community, there's really a lack of services and funding support systems out there. So it's important to learn about some of these things like guardianship, social security, Kentucky waiver programs so that they're aware of the funding supports needed in order to be successful in the community. 
Well, thank you both so much for stopping by. Thank we you. have the information about the two upcoming educational series coming up. For more information, just go to their website. Um, there on your screen, the, um, what is the website? I want to make sure I say the correct, uh, the council, the dash council.org. Let me get that one right there. So <laughs> go there for more information about their upcoming educational series.